Um, it's a gathering of people from all sorts of different backgrounds who have one thing in common. which is they are parents or carers um, of people with deaf blindness, multisensory impairment or quite complex needs. So what we do have in common is that we've all experienced health issues with our children. We've all experienced um, professionals telling us what they think is the right thing for our children when we actually know better but don't get listened to. And that's those things in common have emerged over the, well, the years that we've been meeting. Although at first, I don't think any of us realized we had all that in common. It was nice seeing different people and chatting because everyone's got different um, family issues that we can all talk about. I think what it's taught me is to take one hour a week out to yourself is not a crime. It's a benefit. Um, you're not being selfish. You're actually, it's self-preservation. Um, it is only an hour a week. I wish it was two. Um, it, it, it's just so nice to have that little bit of relaxation, that little bit of, I don't have to wonder about the phone going or being at a hospital appointment or what I've got to do next or any of the other humdrum things that we get involved in. It's just so nice. And I didn't expect it to be as nice as it is, to be honest with you. Um, I, I look forward to that hour of relaxation now. I actually look forward to doing something I've never done before, to not knowing what I'm doing, um, to learning something new and listening to the chitter chatter of the other, you know, parents is, is lovely. There's no judgment. There's very often support. There's always support, even if it's not practical support. There's always that sort of sympathy, empathy. And often there is practical support as well, because as I say, someone else has, well, actually I've had that happen to me. My, you know, my child's older than yours and we went through that at that stage and this is what worked for us, or this is who you could contact to get some help with that. I mean, even just that conversation we had quite a while ago now where somebody wanted some ideas of where to take their child out for the day. And everybody came up with lots of places they'd been that where they were changing places, facilities and where there was it was accessible and all those sorts of things that, yes, you can Google, but having first hand experience from someone who's actually been to a place is obviously a lot better. Um, so I think it's just that shared experience and shared. Um, we had the session where one mum had to go off and suction her child and she went off and did that and came back and said, that's what's great about this group. I can just go and do that. And nobody bats an eyelid because everybody knows what I'm talking about. I don't have to explain anything or, you know, if, if, if my child's having a meltdown and I have to switch the camera and the video, the sound off for a minute, there's, there's no judgment. There have been some quite major things going on in my personal life, which these groups have done an enormous amount to help me through. We don't have anyone around with us. We don't have any family and friends around for us, for us to have a word with or to speak or to tell our uh, what problems we are going through. So I would say to other parent groups, if you want to be heard or if you want to express your feelings to someone who's going to listen to you, then this then there's this group called Parent Care Group Sessions wherein there are people around like similar to you who are going to listen to you or whom you will, to, uh, you will be able to hear and understand that um, this is not end of the world. There are there are people around there who, who are who are there for you to help you in um, emotionally.
and when I actually um, didn't think I was going to get any skills at all because I never thought I'd do painting and now I can paint, I can do anything with arts and crafts and anything really. So it's made a lot of difference.